What's going on you guys? So we're downstairs right now, so we're just going to do some little bit of stuff um, as we wait for um, some parts to come in and as the weather gets a little better because like today for example was raining so we couldn't do anything or do as much as we would like so we're inside the basement right now we're gonna go ahead and maybe clean some stuff up paint some stuff uh, put some gaskets where they need to be and uh, just do some of that stuff so let's uh, let's get to work
What's going on you guys? It's your boy Evan and you know I'm always up to no good. So today is a brand new day. It's actually beautiful outside today. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean the supercharger with a variety of tools. Uh, the greasers, we're going to probably remove some of the paint anyways. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually spray paint it. And I'm going to do a professional job. We're just going to try to get the paint to look a little bit better than what it was. And we got something else that we got to do it to the supercharger. So without further ado, without further question, Let's get to work. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky situations, I will be a lifeline. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, I know. Keep coming back for you time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave. Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove Yeah That baby, I got you Nobody's meant to be fighting alone That's 
you guys so we're inside right now we're in the basement uh just finished washing the parts letting them air dry uh in the meantime i actually have the blower up we're gonna go ahead and remove the actual bolts uh from the superchargers now and we're gonna go ahead and remove it because we actually have a mod that we're gonna be doing and since i have the blower out it makes more sense to do this now uh if i wasn't going to remove the blower because of those leaking hoses underneath, I would have just done it the other way around and I will explain. So uh, let's bring the camera in and uh, show you exactly what I mean. All right, you guys, real quick, I just want to point out a couple of things uh, in terms of the uh, uh, supercharger snout and the pulleys. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but just speaking on what I saw from eBay from quality superchargers. The snout options they offer are a 6%. Let me start from the beginning. They also offer a stock pulley with a rebuilt snout, 
6% with a rebuilt snout and a 10% with a rebuilt snout. Now, if you're going to be doing this job like I am, I would personally go with the 10% pulley. Uh, if you have the stock pulley on like I do, might as well do it this way. Obviously, this all depends on your budget and your idea of what you want to do with the supercharger or what do you want to do with the car in terms of power or uh, goals or stuff like that. So uh, next thing I want to speak about is the pulleys. They do offer a 6% pulley and a 10% pulley. They do offer the tools uh, that are required to remove the pulley, uh, such as the puller tool, the machining tool. You can get those in a bundle. You can get them separate. You can rent them. You can buy them. So they do offer a couple of options. So if you guys are interested, check them out on eBay at Quality Superchargers. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. I just saw them on eBay. Figured I'd point it out since I'm doing this job. In my case, since I'm doing um, the uh, two hoses located underneath the supercharger, I figured this was the smartest thing to do. If you're gonna, um, you know, pull the blower off, you might as well just go with the biggest pulley size they offer. They rebuild everything so the car or the supercharger is running right. You have no worries about stuff going bad in the snout, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully uh, that cleared up some stuff, and uh, let's get to work.
All right, you guys, so we got the uh, supercharger snot off. Now, the flu was actually pretty good because I actually had done the uh, uh, swap from the old flu to the new flu, which was Kenny Bell. So the fluid is actually pretty good. You can actually tell it's pretty blue. Plus, there wasn't a lot of miles put on the car since we did the supercharger fluid change. So we're going to go ahead and clean some of this up. And then we're just going to go ahead and open the other box, package it up, and put the other one on so we could... Um, Get it ready so we can put this stuff back on the car. Uh, now I just put the bolts here just so I don't lose them and I uh, forget where they go. I'm going to clean them up a little bit with the water wheel, but first we're going to go ahead and clean this. go ahead and uh, maybe use this on another vehicle if we do buy another one or another type of jack or not but we got here a super simple As you guys can tell, we got the uh, new uh, supercharger uh, front housing. I don't even know what the word is to call it, but we basically got the front portion of the supercharger. So we got the new pulley over here. Uh, it's wrapped in a clear bag because obviously they don't want it to get scratched up. So as you guys can tell, we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean up the surface to the supercharger so we can mate the front housing of it to... The supercharger right here. Oh, what is it called? Let me see. Snout. There we go. That's the word we're looking for. So we're gonna mount the supercharger snout to the supercharger. We're just gonna clean it, make sure it's nice and clean. Put some uh, sealer or sealant. Then we're gonna tighten up all the bolts, fill it up, and then uh, we're also gonna just cut the back. There's a screw that goes on the back of the supercharger here. We're gonna actually cut it with a um, grinder. So this way, if I ever need to take the blower out again, I could just loosen that bolt and slide it right out instead of having to take everything out. I've seen that on the forum, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's just get to work and uh, mount this now on the supercharger.
right, you guys. So as you guys saw, we just ended up putting the snout on. Uh, I had a little difficulty trying to put it on as straight as possible without getting um, too much of the uh, aerobic gasket maker, which came out. All this stuff came in the kit with the snout replacement. So if anybody's wondering, it comes as a complete kit in the box with a syringe, bottle of Eaton Supercharger Oil, and the aerobic gasket maker. And I didn't use too much because I know this stuff looks kind of thick and it, it looks similar to like eating jello so uh yeah red jello so it didn't use too much i just had a little difficulty trying to put it on straight so i kind of turned the blower on its uh, butt and i faced it upwards so i could put the uh, snout on and then lightly tapped it with the metal mallet and then uh you're supposed to torque it down to 16 uh 16 foot pounds so that's what i did so we're just gonna let it dry i don't know how long this is gonna take uh, i don't know if it does say it on the box of this gasket maker it does not um but regardless or not we're just going to leave this dry for today we might go outside and uh, install some hoses or not it all depends we have the uh, screw here for putting the oil we're going to probably remove that tomorrow and fill it up with some oil but for right now the major stuff is done and then uh we're going to slowly start putting everything back on the car uh, so that's pretty much it. So just take your time when you're doing it. Um, I think I did it right. So it spins freely. So pretty happy. So that's pretty much it, guys. What's going on, you guys? So as you guys can tell, we just finished up. Well, I actually finished up packaging the uh, supercharger snout. I did it off camera. There was no point to show you guys how to package a supercharger snout. Just make sure you wrap it in bubble wrap and you uh, put some uh, bubble paper or whatever you call it that inflatable bubble inside so it prevents it from uh you know moving around or potentially getting damaged during shipment so now that this is all packaged up i'm going to take this early in the morning tomorrow because it was kind of late and the U usps united states postal service closes at five so we're going to take it to them tomorrow early in the morning hopefully get it uh, out there in three days and then we pretty much have everything so it's getting late it's pretty dark so that being said guys you know the vibes i'm out